Hi Pat, what's the story with this little baby um, nestling Laura uh, Pete? He came in on Friday. Yep. Um, and uh, the carer was going on holiday, so she asked me to look after him. Yes. Um, when he came in, he was screeching something awful. Yeah. And I've only heard a baby lorikeet screech, screech like that before when he had a broken leg. Right. Um, but, you know, I said to her, what's up? And he said, oh, she said, you know, he's been doing that all the time. Right. Uh, she said, oh, I, I checked and I said, has he had a feed? And felt his crop and it was full. Yep. I thought, okay, that's good. And uh, she went off, left baby with me, and um, I checked out and I found that um, um, he had bad diarrhea. Yep. Oh, look at that here. Yep. It's yep. on the plastic. Yep. Uh, that his, his little uh, ankles are a little bit, well, he's yeah, swollen. Swollen. Mm -hmm. Yes, yep. And um, he was screeching like crazy, um, and he was vomiting his food up, and the food wasn't passing through his crop. Right. Um, so, um, I straight away put him on to, and the, oh, and the story was that he'd been picked up from a vet, a local yep. vet, yes. who uh, someone had brought him in from the local Woolworths. Yes. Um, he'd been brought into the Woolworths with a cat in the cat's mouth. Right, okay. So I said, oh gosh, I said, you know, Dr. Perry always says that when a cat just breathes on a bird, yep. it uh, should be on antibiotics. And yep. uh, the carer said, oh yes, he's, he's um, uh, the vets have attended to all that. But um, I, when I got him, as I said, I put him back on the antibiotics because of the diarrhea yep. and the vomiting uh, and the fact that um, All right. I well, didn't. Well, well, we'll have a general look at him. He's got a lot of fault lines across his feathers, which you've probably yes, noticed. So yes, he's had I a, saw that. So he's had a bad start. He's mm. certainly got very swollen uh, hocks, in inverted commas, or ankles. Ankles, yeah. Um, consistent with an infection or in those joints. Yes, And yes. Um, obviously the very soiled vent and so forth. So we'll do some smears and, and see what we find. And I think you're on the track as far as um, probably having an infection. Uh, and these swollen joints may be the result of him falling or something like that. But um, that could be the result of that. But we'll check that out in a bit more detail and see what else is going on. So we'll come back to him in a moment. Yeah, and the other thing he does, I think he must have a really bad tummy ache because every so often he'll roll over onto his back and expose his tummy to the, to the warm he? light. Right, okay, yep. Uh, well, okay, well, we'll see what we find. And obviously these little fault lines can indicate many things. Fault lines across the tail, fault lines across the things, but one of the possibilities is, yeah, the, right. is the, um, the possibility of citizen beak and feather disease being part of the problem but he's not showing enough s symptoms for me to be able or clinical signs for me to be able to diagnose that at this point in time so we'll give him the benefit of the doubt uh, as we usually do and see what uh, we can do to help. An additional finding in this little lower teeth on the clinical examination apart from the swollen joints and the diarrhea and everything is that the area overlying the crop here uh, at the base of the neck. Uh, the skin feels leathery and it's got all these little yellow scabs all over it. So we'll be checking a crop wash in a moment and fecal smears and having a, look in, a further look at this area of skin. Well, with this little baby uh, lorikeet, what I've found is that the, the joints in, uh, of the heels are obviously very swollen and they feel sore and infected. I think they're infected. I can't feel any fractures or cracks. Um, I found, I've done a crop and fecal smear, wet and gram stained, and I did not find many bacteria. I found a few yeast, but the bird has been on some antibiotics already on Batril. Um, and I'm advising that we continue the Batril for another five days. I'm advising that we give this birdie a lot of nutraceuticals, what I call Manamix um, and uh, TFPA, a source of transfers transfer factors to try and support the health and well-being of this birdie, particularly with view to all the little uh, stripes in the plumage that we spoke about earlier. So all these little stripes in the plumage in the birdie this age suggest that this birdie's been quite sick uh, from the time that those feathers were being formed in the body. Um, and obviously it's going to be fed often and kept warm and given TLC. I think it's going to make it. I think it'll come good. Uh, time will tell. Thanks, Pat.